So 2022 is almost over already. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but I swear that somebody is speeding up the time. <laughs> yep, it definitely feels like it. <laughs> but at least that means that we have a whole new year to look forward to in 2023. No, I don't know about you guys, but the thing that we look forward to most is video games. Ooh, yeah, and this video is all about the video games that we are most looking forward to in 2023 for the Nintendo Switch. Maybe you guys could look forward to us next year by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. But without further ado, let's get hyped for some games, man. This year seemed like it was the year for tactical RPGs, but the undisputed king of them was nowhere to be found. But first up in 2023, we have Fire Emblem Engage. Now, Three Houses is one of our favorite games on the Switch full stop. So to say that we're looking forward to this is a little bit of an understatement. This thing looks like it's changing up from Three Houses a little bit. The art style looks more fun and colorful and dare I say happy. And there's this awesome engaging mechanic where you can summon characters from past games. So there's a little bit of fan service there as well. But whether you're new to this series or a longtime fan, I think there's plenty to enjoy here. So the Atelier franchise has been releasing games since the 90s, but by far the best ones out of the whole series are definitely the Riser games. The Atelier games are like super whimsical JRPGs where you're an alchemist and you've got to synthesize and cook things in your big cauldron. And the Riser games make the combat way more interesting. It's probably some of the best combat that I've actually played in a JRPG. And I also really like the art style. Sorry for interrupting. It's like yeah. this anime-esque, like super cute, cozy. I don't know, there's just something about it. There's something about them. Ryzen 1 and 2 took all of the best aspects of the Atelier franchise and kind of made them even better. Ryzen 2 was a massive improvement from Ryzen 1, so hopefully Ryzen 3 will be the same. I am super hyped for this game and it comes out on February the 24th, so the wait is almost over. Actually, the next three games come out on that same day, so you might want to get saving now. So the game I am personally running out and getting on the 24th of February is Octopath Traveler 2. In our best games of this year, we talked about Team Asano with Triangle Strategy and that whole HD 2D pixel art style started with the first Octopath. But this one is seemingly improving on the elements that we got in the first one. The biggest problem people had with the first one is that the eight different characters you meet throughout the game, their stories didn't really overlap. They were very individual. In number two, that is completely different. They're all gonna intertwine and do things together and, you know? So the third and final game that will be eating up all of our funds in our wallets on the 24th of February is Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Apparently, in a lot of people's opinions, Return to Dreamland was one of the best Kirby games. We don't know if we can agree because we haven't played it and you can't beat the Forgotten Land. Oh, that is such a good game. You just can't beat it. But the 2011 Wii game is a pretty popular one. Unfortunately, it looks a little bit more like a traditional Kirby game rather than the 3D platformer that was in Forgotten Land, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's Kirby, so. 24th of February is looking like a hectic day. We better take the day off work. We've got three okay. games to play. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Screw it. Get those timesheets in now, guys. 24th of February. Day off. <laughs> Laura, what's your favourite game of all time? Breath of the Wild. Not just on the Switch, but of all time, right? Breath of the Wild. So, what is your most anticipated game of all time? I would give somebody my kidney to play Tears of the Kingdom early. It feels weird not calling it Breath of the Wild 2 or I know. the sequel to the Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but we now have a name. We now have a release date and we now have a whole load of waiting with bated breath. <laughs> My kidneys will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, Breath of the Wild is one of the greatest games made ever, period, mm -hmm. full stop. And they've delayed Tears of the Kingdom enough now, so you know they're trying to live up to that hype. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. We're getting it. It's going to sell a but ton on release. It's, it's gonna be amazing. I don't know what else to say, but this is easily my most anticipated game of next year. 
Laura's most anticipated of all time. Well, it won the most anticipated game at of... Game Awards. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 100%. So it's not just us. No, no, it is everybody. <laughs> if there's one game you get next year, make it Tears of the Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be sad, though, if you could only get one game per year? Honestly, if it's Tears of the Kingdom, I wouldn't even be upset. Yeah, that's true. There is a whole bunch of amazing games on this list, but... Zelda, dude. It's Zelda. Yeah. It's a, it's a sequel to Breath of the Wild. You're the best. Oh. Can't be better than you. Oh. <laughs> Minecraft Legends is coming out in 2023, and it actually looks like it's going to be really good. We love Minecraft, of course. Who doesn't? But the spin-off Minecraft games are also really good. So we've got Minecraft Dungeons and it's been in our backlog for like over a year or something. I we don't... have played it at the arcade. Yeah, I don't know why we never gave it a chance on the Switch, but whenever we walk into an arcade, we make a beeline straight to Minecraft Dungeons. It's actually so much fun. Why do we spend money on it at the arcade when we could just play it at home? I know. <laughs> We're idiots. Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's why, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But playing Minecraft Dungeons at the arcade has shot it straight up to the top spot in my backlog at the moment. And Minecraft Legends looks like it is going to be just as fun as well. It's like the RPG version of Minecraft and the trailer looks like it'll be really fun. By now, you guys probably know that we are absolute suckers for pixel art. If a game has pixel art, we're getting it. If anything has pixel art. <laughs> yep. So when we saw Sea of Stars announced like two years ago now, we were like, yep, we're getting that day one. It was meant to come out this year, but then got delayed into 2023. We still don't have a release date. Fingers crossed it's coming because this SNES inspired RPG looks fantastic. The indie devs are well renowned for their work on The Messenger, so with a bit of luck, this thing is going to be a highlight of 2023. The trailer alone looks super awesome. Oh, so. I was sold as soon as I saw that first mm -hmm. image in the trailer. I was like, yeah, don't get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> looks amazing. So Hollow Knight is one of the quintessential indie games on the Nintendo Switch, and it's probably one of the only Metroidvanias that can actually rival both of its namesakes, Metroid and Castlevania. The sequel to Hollow Knight, Silk Song, was in our last year's video. Well, it seems like we've been waiting for this thing for years and years. Yeah, we have. We didn't really have a specific release date then, and we still don't have a solid release date now, but we do know that it's coming out in 2023, so... <laughs> Please. It's also made by Australian developers, so it's got a special place in our heart, you know? I just realised how many indies there are on this list. Like, how good is the Switch for indies? The best. <laughs> it is the best. It really is. So this next one is one of the most successful indies, rivaling Hollow Knight, actually. Hades. I don't like roguelites. Not a fan. You know what I do like, though? Hades. <laughs> Hades, yeah. <laughs> So the sequel, Hades 2, got announced at the Game Awards. It's actually the first ever sequel Supergiant Games has ever done, which isn't surprising considering Hades' success. Honestly, it looks like we're just getting more of the same, and I am not upset about that at all. But with a badass female protagonist this time. True. Give me them badass females. It looks awesome. It looks fantastic, man. I'm so excited for it. Let's go! So we're not huge on the Pikmin games. We've never played the first couple. I think we played Pikmin 3 for like a couple of minutes on the demo. Yeah, we played the demo on the Switch, yeah. But a lot of people are super hyped for Pikmin 4 that's coming out this year. And it actually does look like it's going to be really good. The graphics, though. I, I know that it's a cinematic trailer, but could be like that. Who knows? Either way, Pikmin fans have been waiting for 10 long years for Pikmin 4, so... They deserve it. <laughs> they deserve it. Yeah, even though we haven't played a lot of the Pikmin games before and it's not necessarily one of our most anticipated titles, it just is one of the most anticipated titles, you know? So we have to put it in for the Pikmin fans. It's for the fans. We wanted to make this video a nice even 10, but it just wouldn't feel right to not put Metroid Prime 4 in this video. Honestly, every most anticipated video since the Switch's announcement has had Prime 4 in it. We don't actually think it's coming to the Switch. We think it's going to come to whatever is next from Nintendo. I'm Switch pretty sure Pro. it's a myth. 
<laughs> it just doesn't exist. <laughs> well, look, all we have is like a three second long image. Maybe it was just a hoax. Yeah, it's literally a JPEG. <laughs> it might have just been a hoax this whole time. <laughs> look, Metroid fans, you've gotten dread on the Switch. That was amazing. Just wait for the Switch 2 or the Switch Pro, whatever comes next. We're pretty sure it's on there, but we would look stupid if we didn't include it. And then it released, Shadow dropped in two months, you know? <laughs> so imagine that though, people would actually probably pass away though. <laughs> 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 they should have released the trailer with a health warning. Metroid 5 is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Prime 4! <laughs> Don't mind me! Prime 4 just got announced! <laughs> <laughs> so the Nintendo Switch is getting a little old now, the hardware is getting a little bit dated, but Nintendo is just releasing great game after great game. 2023 is shaping up to be yet another fantastic year for Nintendo Switch owners. But let us know what you are looking forward to this year. There is so much more that we just couldn't fit on this list. So let us know in the comments, maybe do a top 10 or a top five. That would be fantastic. Our release schedule might be a little bit weird over Christmas. Laura's going to New Zealand without me. Mm. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna like eat spicy- Play video games. <laughs> I was gonna say eat spicy curries and cry. Because of the spies? Yeah. <laughs> so we can't say we'll be back next week, but it'd probably be the week after or the week after that. Sometime, just subscribe so you don't miss out on our videos. Exactly. <laughs> Much love, everybody. We will see you soon. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye. Plus thighs. Ah. <laughs> thighs are three. Return of the thighs. <laughs> Dies of three, crushing watermelons. There's probably a video on it online. Oh, <laughs> I don't want, don't Google it. <laughs>